Do you get emails from your bank every so often and kind of just ignore them, you know, with titles like new offer for bank account holders or check this credit card offer and you kind of just ignore? Well, this video is for you. This is Rena Hicks and we're on MoneyWise where we create, grow and preserve wealth. So you should never, ever, ever ignore an email from your bank. Please do not. And I will tell you why. First of all, those emails usually would have your bank statements. And you know, we're having a chat with a friend and he was like, Yanni, they asked me to type, I don't know which password, including which account number. And I have no idea what that account number is. By the time I go and check the account number and key in this password, it takes me such a long time. So I don't even bother checking. So, you know, if you don't check, then you will miss out on a few important things. And here are five things that you must check on that email, on your bank statements when they come, either through an email or through the mail. The first thing that you must check is that the transactions that have taken place in that month are the transactions that you passed through. There's an assumption that, you know, it's the bank, they have invested in technology and they will not make mistakes. But the truth is, stuff happens. Fraud happens, you know, changes of systems happen and you have some unauthorized transactions that can take place on your account. So you need to check the debits that I made through the ATM. Are they the ones that took place, have been um, taken out from my statement? The transfers that I have done, are they to the right people? And were they even done? The fees that are charged, are they the fees that we agreed on with the bank? That's the second thing that you need to check the fees they're charging you. You had agreed that it's an all-in-one tariff, for example, and uh, this is what is the fee is going to be. So then you, you go ahead and you must check that that amount of money is what they're charging you for and not any more. The other thing that you must check is that there are no unauthorized transactions on your account, right? So you just make sure that, yes, these are the transactions and there's no unauthorized transaction that has taken place you must read the email that they sent you. Because usually there's, there's a, a statement that's attached, but there's a letter or an email that comes through with a bit of detail. And I'll tell you why. About two weeks ago, we received an email from our bank. And the email said, um, hi, our customer, dear customer, and there's this offer. We're going to give all our credit card holders. And every credit card holder is going to have an opportunity to have um, an insurance, a life insurance policy that will take care of you and the debt that you have should you pass on. And so it's gonna be great for your beneficiaries because nobody's gonna be left behind trying to sort out any um, debts that you may owe on your credit card because that insurance will take care of it. And so that was like the first two paragraphs. And you know, I thought to myself, ah, this doesn't apply to me, let me move on. I don't even want this thing. But I thought, let me finish the email. The email continued to say that this insurance policy will be charged at 0, 0.0 whatever it was i done something like 0.08 percent uh, of the amount that you have borrowed and it will be charged every part i think it was per annum and if you do not want this service kindly send an email to opt out to this email address and so i was like whoa if i hadn't finished reading this thing i would have been automatically opted in to this thing and i'd have been charged an extra extra fee for just having this credit card from this bank now i wonder how many people who have the same account or a similar uh, bank account with a bank that i have ignored that email because it didn't really have much more information it was about a credit card and it was about insurance and which you would have thought okay you need to opt in but you know what a lot of times you actually have to opt out of these services otherwise the fees just get charged automatically so please read them and read them carefully so that then you you know exactly what you're being charged for the last thing is you must check your balances. Because if you, for example, thought your balance should be say 100,000 shillings and you find your balance is 20K and you're like, hey, what happened? You know, either you made a payment too early or it was not there, or perhaps there's a debit that's supposed to happen automatically every single month. And maybe one month it was missed out and it didn't happen. And so there's a payment you've not made to whatever service it is that you're supposed to. So please check your balances. The other reason you must check your balances is you, you know, you might have a payment you want to make, you want to write out a check, and then you write out the check, assuming you have a certain balance and it's not there. And so you end up bouncing the check. You then have penalties on, on that bounced check, you know, an embarrassing situation as well. So check your balances before you actually send out any checks out. And when those statements come, please open them and have a read. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to these videos. We have nuggets of wisdom and treasures that are coming that I have learned and picked up throughout the journey that I'm 
uh, I'm on and continuing to be on and I will share them with you as I pick them up. This is Rena Hicks and you're on Money Wise where we create, grow and preserve wealth.